All right, kids, welcome to episode six of Doki Doki Literature Club. It's time to do the second poems, and uh, I don't know, man. Uh, this is a slow fucking game. I know I'm reading it slow, and like, would we go to any other gameplay channels? Like, episode six of this show is probably like their episode three, and in much less time. But, I don't know. One actually adds to be a fun story. I'm fun too, so I don't know. If you guys want me to go faster, maybe comment down below and I'll skim through some stuff, but I don't know. I don't plan on it right now. Let's just get Yuri over with, I guess. Let's see what you've written today. Dot, dot, dot. Hmm, this is pretty good, Rice Off. Were you influenced by seeing everyone's writings out yesterday? I guess you could say that. I was also a bit surprised by how differently everyone writes, so I respect you for trying new things. You don't need to be afraid to be a little more daring. Metaphors can go a long way. Don't feel like you need to work your brain like turning a bunch of gears. Try letting your mind wander through your feelings and write down the things you see and hear. That's one way to truly enable your reader to see into your mind. It's a very in intimate exercise. I see. That's, cer that's a, a certainly interesting technique you got there. Thanks for sharing. I have um one example of that I'd like to read. Of course. Is this the poem you refer to today? Yuri, no oh, Yuri nods and immediately hands me your poem. The raccoon. It happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My intention was caught by the scattering. The scuttering of a raccoon. <laughs> the raccoon kept on shitting everywhere. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as, a, as an ordinary human. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread, my subconscious, well aware of the, of the consequences. Well aware that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. The bread, my hungry curiosity, the raccoon, an urge. Oh my god, this is long as shit. The moon in the infamous phase and reflects that much more light off my cutting knife. The very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brand wait, fuck with it. Every time I brandish my counting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood blasting around. Red conditioning slid slice the bread and I feel myself again. Um, I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. It's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. And that's right, it's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. Yeah, if I take it at a face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to their own way. I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. It's those sorts of things I'm usually forced to keep to myself. So I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Why do you keep them to yourself? Be because they're embarrassing. People would make fun of me. Don't you have anything like that, Rice? Well, yeah, I guess I do. I feel like everyone has a little something like that. The best we can do is respect each other and our individualities. Even if it's difficult sometimes and some things make us uncomfortable, 
After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my weirdness, I'd probably hate myself. I might be ranting a little bit now, but I'm glad that you're a good listener. Hi again, the rice slow. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad, I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with the masterpiece. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today, little boy? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Dot dot dot. Oh, alright. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sorts of things in Howman. Oh uh, well, we may be good friends, but Sarah and I are actually really different. Mm -hmm. Well, that may be the case, but maybe there are also some similarities, similarities that you won't ex that you won't expect. The way she talks about you, it sounds like you two are really cute. It sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you would expect. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm. You sure you're not reading into it too much? Uh, I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yori. But in that case, Yori's writing has kind of gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with the notions, like happiness and sadness, who knew that someone so happy would end up in, would enjoy sad things too. Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own, and you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Alright, let's, let's give it a look. Okay, so here we go. Save me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding the person. Red, green, the blue. And endless. Uh, cacophony? Cacophony? I don't fucking know. Of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms. Squeaking, scratching person. Sign coincing tangent like playing a chalkboard on a turn table. Like playing a vinyl on a person on a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaningless. Laid me. Hmm. It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? Haha. <laughs> I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just. The kind of thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of your poem. It's almost like magic. The way I write the, li the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. It's still really hard for me to tell what it's about, though. <laughs> Sometimes asking what the poem is about isn't the right question, little boy. A poem can be as abstract as a physical expression of feeling. Of a feeling. Or a conversion with the reader conversation. Oopsie, oopsie. So put it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's a, Mo here's a Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Haha, <laughs> you never know what might make you change your mind. Or when something unexpected might happen. <laughs> Wait, is this tip even about writing? Did I just break the fourth wall? I hope I didn't break the fourth wall. That would have been very nice of me. What am I even talking about? Haha. <laughs> That's my advice for today, I guess. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe and like my content. New videos daily. Well, it's not really any more than your last one, but I can't really say it's any better either. Phew. Phew, what? Oh, well, I think that you should make all things a win, and 
I got the feeling you're probably the most critical. Hey, what makes you? Well, maybe that was a compliment. Ah, I'm glad to see someone recognizes my experience. Well, then you can practice it. Maybe it'll be as good as me someday. That, that's, uh, something tells me that's you completely missed the point. Come to think of it, this kind of reminds me of Sarah's poem from yesterday. Uh, you think so? Yeah, well, I guess if you've been friends with her for so long, you might be on the same wavelength. But you never really took me as your type. Sorry, as a type all of a sudden? Well, I don't know, but hey, honestly, how can someone so overflowy spend so much time with someone like you? Maybe that's why you're dragging around your dead wave. Uh, that's a little unnecessary, but think of it this way. If it weren't for me, she probably would just fly away, like, letting go of a balloon. We'd say we each take care of each other in our own way. Whatever it is, I don't get it. Oh yeah, I guess I'm supposed to show you my poem. Here. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard today about Amy? <laughs> Fuck, man. This game is killing me. Amy likes spiders. Icky, really hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song every time they take the chorus. My heart would pound to the rhythm of the world. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders. So her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her ta talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies, it doesn't matter if she keeps it private, it doesn't matter if it's, anyway, it's gross, she's gross, the world's better off without spider lovers. I'm gonna tell everyone. Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's is way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think it was the best thing you could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the best is pretty much both. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues in my personality and it helps. <laughs> sorry, sorry, shut the fuck up and turn off you. It helps people realize how, how stupid they're being. Like anyone would agree that the subject of the spell is an ignorant jerk. Do you know people like that? Of course, but everyone thinks. Everyone thinks. It doesn't matter, it can't care anything. I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has a kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. It's only that you're afraid of people find out that make fun of you or they gloss at you. But that makes them people stupid. Who cares if you would like to know what you learn to anyone that makes them happy? I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Oh, that's funny. You're gonna buy something similar tonight. Huh? Is it Yuri? Yeah. She said her poem was about an unusual hobby of hers. I didn't really get it, but she said it was something similar to you. But people should make uh, people feel insecure about those things. Really? Well, I mean, you always pretty weird and all, so I, I wouldn't doubt that she has some weird hobbies herself. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Uh, it's not like. I always I think I would judge her anything. Unless Yuki has trouble finding words. I guess I should try not to be mean to her. She was like. She was into your better way of paper and stuff. I mean, I always hate people who make me feel insecure, and you already made me feel insecure yesterday. But the way you put it, it's like she's learned her lesson. Well, I would say so. You and her are a little different, I'm sure she'll appreciate the message in your poem. It's what I do best after. I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Emotions is important, dog. But I wanted to make people think that I just feel remember that. I hope this game's not just fucking poems every day because I don't want to read all this shit. Dot dot dot. Oh my goodness. This is so good, Rice Swaff. Eh? I love it. Especially after yesterday's poem. Uh. You're too honest. 
honest sometimes? Are you too honest sometimes, Siori? No, not really. You ought to put this on my wall. Can I? Siori, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. Ha ha ha. Jeez. Uh, I'm sure your opinion has to be a little bit more constructive than this. Maybe even on Suki's. Are you sure you don't like it? Just, are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Yeah. Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So when I, when I read your poem, it's not just a poem, it's a nice love poem! And that makes me feel extra special, like I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori so hugs the sheet against your chest. You're so weird, Sayori. Hehehe, <laughs> well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad. But that's why I just go by my heart. If it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure exactly how, that's exactly how it works. Then again, I guess conveying a feeling is a pretty important part of this whole thing anyway. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writings you like in the first place. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> uh, why don't you at least give, try giving it some thought? Oh, you want to write something for me? That's so sweet. Yeah, right. But you're always thinking of other people needing to think about yourself once in a while. You know, you might end up hurting people, getting hurt at some point. Yee, well, I don't really know how, what you mean, but I'll try to keep it in mind. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Hmm. I guess I like happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems, too. Sometimes a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet. Yeah, I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad? And see you liking something sad, Sierra. Well, I like happy the most. But sometimes when you have a little rain cloud in your head, a sad bump can help you give the rain cloud a little hug, and it makes a nice happy rainbow. Sierra, that's unexpected. Po poetic? Poetic? Hey, it is. Maybe we'll get a little better because my feelings after all. Thanks for this, Puff. I should go write that down then. You can read my poem now, right? Oh my god, wow, well, this poem's so long. Eh. Bottles! I pop off of. Wait, I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I each. I reach inside of my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly. But there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. Aww. And I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in a bottle. Wow. My collection makes a lot, it makes me lots of friends. Each bottle with starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams, friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go in front of and discovering the secrets hiding in the rock. The is digging into me, scrapping and scrapping. The blue toss on my balcony and it doesn't feel like it's elapsed. Time elapsed. My empty shelf can use some more. My friends left the front door. Finally, all done. I open up and come in my friends. And then and they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I friendly pull them on the shelf one after the other, holding them out. Every, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters because the sound of my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, and jars all over the they were supposed to be my friends and my friends and my smiling girl, well, shouting, pleading something, but all you do is hear an echo, 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 echo inside my head. Holy crap. Sorry, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, but I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Well, Monica told me how to write a whole lot, and I've been really attached with my feelings or something. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to being so cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it, I guess. The point is, it came out good, so you should feel proud of it. Oh, thanks. I feel like I feel like I was going to express myself this way. It even helps understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. 
You've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah, I guess so. Writing is the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. Which I guess could be uh, the end of the game. Oh, no. Uh, don't get ahead of yourself, sir. Always oh, have it again with something before driving it no more than a bit later. So true, I relate now. Series number one, boy, number one. I wonder if this is one of those things. But seeing the passion around makes it hard for me to prepare some. I fucking. whatever. Okay, everyone, we're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today. So if everyone comes to the front of the room, is, is this about the festival? But a sore toe. Eh, uh, no, you really have to do it for I read the point together to go to three days. We'll just have to embarrass yourself instead of getting any bad birds. That's a concern of mine, too. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry, Smooch. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We don't. We, we won't need much more than a few decorations. Sayori has been working on posters, and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great, no, but that's all you're going to do for the event. Oh, sorry, I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing? Eh. Uh, Monica. Yeah, we're going to be having the poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event, but the cool part is we're going to let everyone else come up and recite the poems too. Sorry, is putting it on the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. Hee hee hee. Sorry, who's been calling a poster holds it up to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't even need your rubbish effort to put it on, did you? Yeah, well, I did. Do you really think that's a bad idea or whatever? Well, no. It's not a bad idea, but I did say, after as you know, there's no one that before we put a movie like that. I agree with that, so I think it's never in my way to do something like that. Imagine it. Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys, no, Sayori, I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Nozuki and Yuri never shared their poems with anyone until just a few days ago. It's not to ask for them to recite the poems out loud as a whole room of 12 people, and I guess it kind of overlooked that. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but, I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones who lost the of this clue. If we start this event and need to put on a good performance, then it'll inspire the others to do the same. I'm the better of, of fucking. Yeah. It's by expressing your feelings and being intimate with yourself. That is why we're having fun. That's right. That's the reason we're on this globe today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings about you in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And if all of it takes standing in front of the room for two more minutes and reciting the poem, then I know you could do it. No, no, no. No, no, no. no. So you can remain silent. Sorry, Alex, for you to guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think it's a new Monica. I've been really trying hard to get new members, and as we do, is help out a little bit. Well, maybe that dot 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 looks like Masuki doesn't have any arms left. Uh, okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get over there. Alright! Yeah, I mean, oops. Thanks, that's okay. What about you? We already dot dot dot. He already dejectedly glances around at everyone else's uh, expected face. Sorry, I guess I don't have a choice. Haha, uh -huh, it's everyone! You are the best, Yuri! This club is seriously is going to be the death of me. Oh gosh, you'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice for the in front of each other. No way! I mean, oops, fuck. God, this is too sudden. Uh. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club now, do you think you have to do French Rangers? No, oh, no. Don't worry. I'll start to, I'll start off to have everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? Uh, of course. Now let's see. The title of the poem is The Fly They Way. Uh -huh. Turn your poem. Her, vo uh, her clear, confident voice uh, fills the room more than a matter of fact. She, she knows exactly how to apply motion behind each time she decides to bring the words to life. This is something she's done before. She's simply a natural, like, not around everyone at the Rising of Monica. And Sarah looks amazed. She has a test expression on her face that I don't understand. They're finally Monica finishes the recitation before Miss Applaud. And we take some breath and smiles. 
What? That was so good, Monica. Uh, um, oh, thanks very much. I was hoping to set the good example. Are you ready to go next? I'll go next. Oh, uh, Yuri's fired up. I was, uh, Yuri clutches the shade paper in front of him and stands up, keeping her head down. She walks under the podium. His mom is called. Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri! It's called after I mentioned a crimson eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem, but just a moment ago she practically refused to do this. Why she all of a herself so much effort as Yuri gets the last couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce, confident woman, and the poem's full twist and turn into turns to her She's with the regular sits to the one brain. Well, a whirling uh, fire he keeps because of his letter head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri uh, snaps back into a reality glance around her as she shifts to a little demon herself. Da da da. It's a nice same situation. It's not the first to start plotting. Everyone drove together and waited. Uh, Yuri then comes to the It's not like we didn't want to avoid her. But we're caught up so far and we've just forgotten as we applaud Yuri once more. We're trying to push us back into our seat. Yuri, that was pretty good. Thank you for sharing. That 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 looks like Yuri's down for the count. Okay, I guess I'm next then. So I hope so. The quiet chair really walks around the This one's called my meadow. Uh, ah, sorry, I giggled. <laughs> sorry. It's a lot harder than I thought. How do you guys do it so easily? Uh, try not to think of it. If you're saying to other people, imagine you're acting to yourself like in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best anyway. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, then. Sarah begins her poem. Somehow it feels like her song voice is made as a perfect match. Poem is a name so cheesy like Sarah's is. Sarah would be very sweet. If I were to do some poem, I would be very sweet. This is going to be a little bit of a longer episode. It's going to have to record for a few days, so... I might split this up into two. I don't know. Um, maybe, maybe this is what Sarah meant to do when she said she likes poems. It's like I get reached more deeply in the song I find. Sarah finishes the applaud. I did it! Good job, Sarah. You even rest well like this. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nice. It was I don't know. It was really about a great scene. Oh. The actors here at the poem fits really nicely, but it might be able to work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Yeah, I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of tent delivery won't work as well. You might need a little more force behind them depending on what to rate him. Oh, I know. It's well, embarrassing, that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do for everyone. Hehehe. <laughs> next time I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay! Now who's next? Not so key. Ugh. The baby comes for a right one. Now you can compare to you guys anyway. I don't know where everyone's standards is before I have to. Natsuki! It's fine, it's fine, I might as well get over with, but it's not like I have much time to do whatever. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand aside in front of the podium. I have one of the made me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poems, it's a mind to become my own writing. It's hard to put energy to it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyways. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't, wa don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities, more about your lack of confidence in the right thing. It's something I'll do over time, though. Huh? Yeah, maybe. All right, then, huh? I just leave you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Natsuki. Oh, Natsuki really good. Set up a scene next to the podium. Well, Bob's well, going to call it. Why are you looking at me? Because, because you're um, because you're presenting. Uh, and then Bob's called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts to drink her sour attitude, she's really sweet. But all she's really still um, enthusiastic. And you have to use your palm as you're then and run to it. It's not Suki's trademark style, and it works by something well, and it's really loud. The words feel like they're about to suck it down as it's getting into the home. Let's see if he finishes it in one last place. She has to go back to see. That wasn't so bad, why was it? If you you better not do it, maybe you do that again. Oh well, do you at least feel prepared enough to try to pull for the other people? I mean, doing it for the better people will probably will be way easier. I can put up on what I mean I want for other people, but what if just my friend is just embarrassing? What's a surprise, Larry? Whatever your name is, I think it'll be a little for me. Well, that's just how it is, so. Well, I guess in that case, we won't have much to worry about the fuss for the rest of the world. That said, though, I have to thank everyone for coming, though. It might be hard, but if you have all to do with your life now, make sure you pick a poem and then get to practice before the festival, okay? Yeah. I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what the other side is. Jeez. I should probably find some other poem to recite that instead. That's fine, too. It doesn't have to be your own. 
while they're pleasantly surprised that you're putting all the stuff in the clue. It makes me really happy. Oh, uh, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone, I think that's what it's for today. I, I know the festival's coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow. Uh, it's working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. That's what that's we'll gonna find tomorrow, and then we'll, uh, we can repair. Monday's the big day. I can't wait! I can't do I can do this, I can do this. Okay. Let's stand up, even though I'll be able to find this enthusiasm ceremony. I'll do what I have to get to. I guess for the sake of the club, I'm pressing Monica. Go on. Do our best. Ready to go? Oh, ready to go, Sari? Yeah! Look at you two always going on together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? Hee hee hee. Gee, but jeez, guys, don't make such a deal, big deal of it. it. Must be all nice, though. Well, uh. It's okay, Rice, we're not gonna say it. Whatever, let's go already. I welcome home Sari once more, even though it's only been a few days, a lot of it already kind of changed. But today, Sari is a little bit quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sari. Dot, dot, dot. Sorry, I'm spacing out. Oh, uh, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to, I mean... Sarah phones with their words. So let's just say that one day Yuri asked me to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of, qu what kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me in the spot here. <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god, I'm not ready! Oh fuck! Uh, fucking cliffhanger. Bye guys, thanks for watching.